Hello everyone. I'm Aydoğan Vatandaş, the editor-in-chief of Polyturco.com. Today I have an important, remarkable guest, Professor David Phillips from uh, Columbia University. Welcome to my podcast, David. Thank you very much. Uh, David, uh, during the last several days, uh, we have observed that uh, some 20 Kurdish journalists have been detained in Turkey. Are you following the news about this topic? What do you think? It looks like a crackdown by the government targeting Kurds, but it's more than targeting journalists. It's targeting Kurdish cultural identity. Mm -hmm. This comes on the heel of the arrest of thousands of members of the Kurdish Communities Association. Turkey's uh, ranking uh, will, with the World Press Freedom Index is low and getting lower. Mm -hmm. So the situation in Turkey is deteriorating. Erdogan has his eye on elections next year. Mm -hmm. He's doing everything he can to polarize the society, to mm -hmm. demonize Kurds, and to rally support among the Sunni base of the AKP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think, David? Do you think that the international community, community has been reacting to Turkey about this situation? Do you see any, any kind of criticism about this? Yeah, there's some criticism, but they're just words. Mm -hmm. Right now, the international community, especially the U.S., is focused on uh, NATO enlargement, mm -hmm. dealing with Turkey's threat to veto the membership applications of Sweden and Finland. Mm -hmm. So it seems that we'll just roll over and do whatever Erdogan wants because we're singularly focused on the war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It's a big mistake for the U.S. to think that it can support a free society in Ukraine by forming alliances with unfree countries mm -hmm. like Turkey. Right, right. So you're suggesting that the uh, the Western allies, Western countries are just keeping quiet because their focus area is Ukraine and the enlargement of NATO. So they might be hesitant to interfere Turkey's, uh, Turkey's aggressive, you know, uh, reaction to or po politics against the Kurds. Is that what you're saying? The mistake to, for the United States to believe that it can bring Turkey uh, into closer cooperation mm -hmm. in Ukraine. In fact, the exact opposite is happening. Turkey refuses to impose sanctions. It gives sanctuary to the oligarchs. It's doing everything it can to support Russia, uh, even mediating the transit of Uh, stolen grain from mm -hmm. Ukraine to international markets. The Biden administration has been making a big mistake. Mm -hmm. The only thing that Turkey responds to is pressure. Uh, it needs to get tough, send a strong message to Erdogan that either he abides by the international order and uh, falls in line with other NATO countries, or there'll be a price to pay. Mm -hmm. Article 13 of the NATO charter Uh, needs to be amended so that countries can be suspended or evicted. Uh, if Turkey applied to join the alliance today because it is anti-American, hostile to human rights, and Islamist, mm -hmm. its application wouldn't even be considered. Mm -hmm. David, uh, thank you so much. These are my my questions about the, the crackdown against the Kurds. Do you have anything else to add about the topic? And the crackdown against Kurdish journalists is reminiscent of the 1980s, when mm -hmm. Kurds were targeted broadly, where journalists were arrested, where people were summarily rounded up and shot. I'm worried about the trends in Turkey getting worse and the U.S. turning a blind eye. We need to be vigilant in monitoring Turkey's behavior and holding Erdogan's feet to the fire when he abuses rights. Mm -hmm. David, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay. You too.